Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 155, Web Link Page Validation. In tip number 153, I provided a high-level overview of web link sets, which allow you to manage groups of internal and external links, which is useful for implementing areas such as the main navigation menu of the portal. In this tip, I'm going to dive deeper into web link page validation. By default, when a web link points to a web page that a user doesn't have access to, the portal will not display that web link at all. However, Perhaps you want to let the user know that the page exists and give them an opportunity to click on the link so that they can log in to access the restricted page. You can do this by using the Disable Page Validation option on a web link. The Disable Page Validation column can be found in the Link Options area on the web link form in the Portal Management Model Driven app. When checked, the web link will be displayed even if the user doesn't have access to the associated web page. If the user isn't logged in, clicking the link will ask the user to sign in. If the user is signed in and still doesn't have access to the page, an access denied error page will be displayed. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 155 on web link page validation useful.